Well, it's Jeannie in the studio, the glass studio, and I just want to tell you a little bit about this project I'm working on. So this is a, the idea was diversity and unity. And um, I wanted to have seven continents of, uh, with a, a woman on each panel that's from a different continent. And the idea was that all of the continents and all of the world come together. And since this is going to be a lampshade, they all come together to the light of Christ. So it's a church um, show that I'm going to enter. Don't know if I'll get in or not, but <laughs> we'll see. And uh, that was kind of the idea. So first of all, I made some cardboard pieces just to see if seven pieces would fit together. And the and first ones didn't. Right? They were too big or something? Oh, um, well, you had made me a template that was too big. So um, that, yeah. But anyway, so these these are going to fit nicely. So with that, I just took one of the templates and made it into a design. So this one is from Antarct is it Ant Australia. It was difficult to find um, anything from Australia. This one was kind of from a, uh, a cave drawing. <laughs> so, huh. But I knew that um, the Australian Aborigines used dot art. And so that's what I kind of went with. Is the parts of these are fused with little dots. And uh, mm. that's, that's what I went with with that one. So I cut out seven of those panels. And then David lovingly put them together, soldered them together for me. And uh, the application is due at the end of this month. So we'll see what happens. <laughs> so here is David putting together all the pieces of this lamp. It was cool all laying down, but all together up like that, it is so cool. What do you have to say? Well, as I go around, this is the last of the seven pieces. The most important part is that I get this part and this part perfectly flat. There are some places where mo most of these places they are they line up flat, but there are some places where they do not. <laughs> so now I have to. See, this one is kind of held out a little bit, so maybe I have to... So is it hard to do a 3D piece like this? I don't know if you should say hard. <laughs> Challenging? You have to have you have to be an expert. Uh, it does help to have uh, mechanical reasoning. Uh oh, I better not do it. <laughs> okay, so now I've got that one. Now I've got a. So you can see how it stick out from under it, or is, you, is that helpful? I no, I don't really want it there. Hang on. This one just tore on this side. Didn't actually tear, it just... So the idea of this piece is that each of the panels represents a different continent. As they come together in a lampshade, they will go over uh, a light that will be in the center. Oh boy. How am I going to do that? We tend to give David hard jobs. 
because I won't do anything else. Except hard chops. Let's see if I can get this now. Okay, well this one is bigger and I can get these pieces right under the rim and that fits pretty solidly so I guess I'll better just There are different sizes of these. What are what is that top thing called? Heat cap. All right. So there are different sizes of heat cap, and this one fits a little better. And I don't know. It's a okay. Push down on this right here. Yeah, I need some weight on it. See, can you feel it? Now you just hang on there. Okay, I've got a little battery. Okay. So now I've got two spots soldered. And so it's still very delicate. I'm going to try this little bowl here. Actually, it looks like it might be too small. Mm hmm. To get that bigger one? Yeah, that's definitely too small. Okay. Okay, so we're going to try this. Now, what is good about this is that it kind of spreads the weight out. And it gives, uh, it gives us a chance to get a round base. But, okay, so now... These three pieces fell off as we were constructing it. One piece fell back. Two pieces came back in here and accordioned off and then fell over. So, and then this one I took out because it needed a place fixed. So Jeannie's going to have to fix it. And she's going to go from here to here so that it picks up on the foil and it'll have more strength. Now over here she's doing a little bit wider foil on this one and now I have to uh, go around it so that it'll be so ready to wider go. Wider foil on all of them or just repair? Yeah from the corner down to here has to be the whole thing So these are all just women of different continents, huh, Jeannie? Mm -hmm. And you can't really see what I'm doing because I got this lamp in the way. It's too delicate to drag around. I'm tinning this outside foil. And if this foil had been stronger, then it wouldn't have ripped off. But you know, there's just nothing you can do about it while you're doing the 3D construction.
and take off that little burr. Thanks. Do I get it? As I was taking this piece off, one end of it hit me right there on the wrist and it's pretty sensitive right now. It feels like I burned it. If only I had some lavender oil. Huh, thank you, Jeannie. Come on, there we go. And I put a little bit of lavender oil on there and it smells nice too. It's almost instant, it's just fixes the burn right away. Okay, now I'm turning it over. Jeannie, which side's up? Is this side up? Mm, let me see the other side. Yeah, the other side. Is up. Is up. Okay. One thing I have to do here as I'm tinning this is I've really got to cool off my iron by rubbing it across the wet sponge. So that my foil doesn't just curl up. a screw in this thing. That's why it's kind of wobbly. I think I'm going to have to buy the better uh, Weller irons. I thought these medium uh, level irons were going to be great but I, I I don't like them they're not even as good as the cheap irons okay now I'm gonna disappear back here a little bit is done. Now what have you done on the which is this the one that I had just needed a little spot fixed? Oh, 
Okay, so this one's so the one that goes here. Constructing a seven-sided lamp shade. All right, now you're just tinning the edges to make it stronger when you solder them together, huh? Well, i got to tin them so that they'll stick, have something to stick to. All right, now, is this the one that goes over here? Uh, they don't really have a Spot? sequence. <laughs> All right, I guess I need to know which one's front and which one's back. The, the texture of the basket, I think, goes out. Okay. Okay, so she's facing down. In this one, she's... Okay, she's facing down. And this one that's uh, that's outside really? it's iridized on that side What's this side mm -hmm. so this is facing out yeah I hope this goes back together as good as it was before because before it was fitting right under that cap, and now we just don't know if it'll fit or not. <sighs> it will. I do. I really thought I was going to like these irons. The longer I use them, the worse I like them. The less I like them. I'm always fighting the cord. Mm -hmm. Which one's forward? That. The other side, because it has more texture in the basket. Okay. Uh. Oh, brother. This is the worst. <laughs> um, hand me that fid. So I'll kind of use it as a pry bar. To... Okay, let's see. What can I do? If I try to go... <sighs> upside down with it. Can you grab that? See if I can. Yeah, see if I can. I gotta get that piece there. Uh, 
Come on. Well, that will go in. Huh? You gotta get that in. It's this. A side piece. I think I'll try to tack it right here. So, so we got a box. We've got some paper in it. We don't have any newspaper at all. We had newsprint. And now I have to gently set this inside and let's see right now I'm gonna just lean it down that way. Now what that does for me is I've almost got a horizontal line here in the, in the box. All the way up along here and uh, we're gonna we're gonna solder and I've got to pick this up a little bit Get that paper to line it up right there now then So I'll be soldering first on the inside. is off so I can see better. <laughs> and this is the way I always uh, do soldering on lampshades is I use a box with a bunch of folded up paper because it's just... Gives you a little bit of cushion, huh? Well, it's perfect because I can get it to be the right angle. And it doesn't cost very much, you know. Everybody's got a box. Well, most everybody's got a box. Unless you throw them away immediately. Did I get all that? Okay, okay so now I've got this one. And so now I'm going to shift it. And could you see how... It, see how it's still flexible? Mm -hmm. That's that's okay. It's just barely flexible enough to to be a little bit scary. Now we didn't get a chance to talk about on camera. We were talking about it, but the thing was falling apart. This is the uh, vent cap that we started out with. It's a four-inch vent cap, and unfortunately. It didn't fit in, on top of the the shade, but but fortunately for us, I was able to find one which is almost five inches, and that's the one we're using. So it was really fortunate for me that that we had one that was big enough. So 
Now I can go right ahead and get some more of my soldering done on the interior here. It's really handy when you can actually have it pretty close to ground level so that it's so that it the solder flows properly. Okay, now that I'm getting up here, I'll be able to roll it over one. Okay, so here we go. Look here, you can see. See how much it deflects now when I push on it? Just a little bit. Now I can flip it again. It's getting stronger all the time. It's, it's fun to see it, the progress that it's making as well, you know. And a little bit getting finished and not even having to hardly worry about it any longer. I mean, I guess I should, but not as much. Yeah, once and once I get it done on the inside, then doing the outside will probably be a lot more uh, I don't know, stable. Okay. I don't care for the fact that this is dripping over here on the side. That's going to make it interesting for you to clean off, Jeannie. Okay, that's going better now. Does that drip through a little bit? Now it's interesting because there's some places where we've got some really superb drips, runs run throughs from the other side. Let me get this.
Okay. So I want to show you one of the sides that that dripped dramatically. Now yesterday I I did some of the the interior down here all the way down so you can see how nice and strong that is. Now I want to show you all right well this this next one see how we've got some really dramatic run throughs this this was a hole that was you know a challenge to fill so I'm gonna get some flux on here. And you can see it's not perfect. Um, you know, some places it it's uh, you know not quite perfect. But you can see that by having this uh, running, with gravity in favor of us, then the solder does a pretty pretty good job. And if I'm if I don't leave it on there too long, if I don't if I control the heat. Now you can see over here there's uh, places where it's dripped, but that'll just pop right off when Jeannie's cleaning it. And then, here we go. So, so I'll continue this on each one of the sides. Alright, well you can see here that Jeannie has set me up with a rheostat. And it's set to half, and so my iron is much cooler. So I'm having an easier time filling in the the solder without it melting through. You mentioned a bit ago that on the panels that I put a wider foil around the edge, those are easier for you to solder. Yeah, this one here is okay. This one would be perfect if every one of them had this width. And but that, some of them are fatter. some of them are fatter. Yeah. And they're and they're they look nice. If all of them look like that, they would they would be very nice and uniform. Unfortunately, we're just not going to get uniformity here. But there were a couple of them that uh that were very thin. See down here, look how much of a drip through I've got there. Woohoo! One of them, I think it was on this side, there was such a drip through, I had to melt it off before I could work on the on the interior of the window to get it to lay on the table. So it's it's an interesting challenge. You have to adjust for every one of the sides. Okay, so what I've done here, on top of the lamp, I put an extra washer and then a felt piece. And now, because I've got a felt piece on here, let's see if I can get it on there. Now I can center it. See how the felt kind of comes up through there? Now it holds everything in place. Let's see if I can get this nut back on here. Okay, so it holds it steadily. Now, 
it's a little bit off if I can adjust that now this has to be cleaned still and Jeannie's gonna patina it so that it all looks copper on the solder portion but for now let's see we're gonna turn off the lights and show you what it looks like And I think we need a brighter bulb in there, but that kind of gives you the idea of the finished product, of what it'll look like, because actually, uh, y you know, everything looks black when you, when you get it in there. And so here we go. We'll just turn it slowly so you can see them. Oh boy, I really need to clean those two panels. Okay, I think that's it. Thanks for being with us, and we'll see you on the next video.